Yo, what's going on Washington Commanders fans? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Chase Roulier being on IR in Washington just signed their new center uh, Nick Martin who has 62 starts under his belt and we're going to get into some Jamin Davis drama but before we do make sure you like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video and yeah let's get into it so according to Ian Rappaport he says that um, the former Texans and Raiders center has plenty of experience with 62 starts under his belt. Martin now takes the place of center Chase Roulier, who is now headed to injured reserve. So, yeah, he's on injured reserve. Um, you know, I looked at some uh, highlights. I mean, he's pretty solid. He has three years under his belt. He just got released from the uh, Raiders, though. Um he got released from the Raiders earlier this month, I believe, uh, according to John Kime. And, yeah, I like the move. 62 starts, not bad. Uh, he has, yeah, three years of experience at that position. So, and also, oh, yeah, and I forgot, we also have some uh, some news on Cam Curl. Uh, Cam Curl has now been cleared to return, and he's getting fitted for a splint on his thumb, which is a good step for Washington's D. And then D tackle Daniel Wise also is getting another uh look at his ankle because he has he there's a fear of him having a high ankle sprain, so yeah. But that is the injury report for us. Um wish the best of luck for Chase Roulier. It looks like he's done for the season. And I thought it was maybe a cramp, and it just it's unfortunate because it had to happen in the last couple of minutes of the game in garbage time when the game was long gone and yeah just not a good look he just signed his uh contract too so that contract it's not looking good for us but hopefully he could return uh, it is really hard to say if he's going to return healthy uh like being himself again I don't I don't know if he'll ever be himself again cuz he just suffered another knee injury so this this is crazy and, yeah, wish nothing but the best for him. And, yeah, hopefully Nick Martin can do good things for us. And now to the Jamin Davis news. Um, yeah, Jamin Davis has rec uh, responded to Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio. Uh, you know, he posted an IG post about, uh, well, it was like a little small clip. And uh, what was concerning is the defender, the defensive players we're actually uh, liking the um, post, the IG post. So, you know, Jack Del Rio and Ron seem to be losing the uh, locker room, like, at a rapid pace. And it's only week three. It's it's now week three. So he's already losing the the locker room. And this is not a good uh, look for Jack Del Rio and Ron Rivera, who in previous interviews, like post-game interview, Ron Rivera just out the gate. Just blame Jamin Davis, which it's not only Jamin Davis. Kendall Fuller didn't play good. Bobby McCain did. So many players. William Jackson didn't play good. There were so many players that did not play that good. And he was the only person that got singled out. And he was the best linebacker for us in Sunday's uh, game. So I don't understand why he's being blamed for everything. Cole Holcomb didn't play the best. And Dave, David Mayo definitely did not play good. Uh, anytime someone got beat, it was Cole Holcomb. Like, I seen Cole Holcomb, he was just... But you can't even really blame Cole Holcomb, though, for this because he was going up against uh, Amon St. Brown. So, yeah, like, uh, that's not an easy... Uh, that's not an easy receiver to go up against, as especially as a slow linebacker. And it was times where Jammin did get beat. But ultimately, I think he held his own. He was he got that sack uh, early in the game, and you know, other than that, he didn't really like make any impressive plays. But he still wasn't really getting beat like uh, Mayo and Cole Holcomb. But you know, everyone's to blame on the defense. It's not only just Jamin Davis. Jamin Davis, he held his own, and yeah, we gotta stop blaming. You know, we got to blame. Everybody has to take account because this is a team sport. 
and not only one person it gets blamed for a loss. So this is a team sport. If anything, it's Jack Dal Rio's fault because his scheme is just not working. The the soft zones is just not working. It has not been working, and it just looks we have not gotten better since last year. We did not get better, and I'm starting to think that 2020 season uh was just a fluke for defense. It doesn't look good. Like I, it just sucks that the offense looks so much better. Like they they flipped the page, and now it's just like defense just got re- progressively worse. But yeah, that sucks and. Today's video was a little short, just me ranting, and yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this Jamin Davis situation. I mean, I just don't understand why he's the only one getting blamed. This is a team sport, and yeah, this is crazy, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace.